yeah sorry friends uh, welcome back i forgot to start the recording just now i record started now see friends once you are opening any browser now i am opening firefox browser when i was opening with navigating with icsa url i am getting some web notification is coming over here so until unless you handle this notification yes it never allows to click on any of the element in the application see i was clicking on login allowing new users apply now apply now clicking on image nothing you have to handle this notification so manually you can handle it but through automation you are the responsible to handle that then only it allows to click on any of the element in the web page yeah i will handle that no worries for that so now here here we can see some here we have some user uh, some extension got added to the firefox browser which is crow path and if you can see some bookmarks i added here if i click on that okay i don't have any bookmarks let me check okay here itself can be bookmarks i think there are no bookmarks let me add some bookmarks like okay i say see i added let me make it as a bookmark just click on that star mark yes it comes under this bookmarks why it's not coming let me add one more not okay why hdfcbank.com so let me add this as a bookmark let's make this as a bookmark yeah here it is sorry see here, here it is only added existing here if i click on bookmarks see here, access bookmark is there icic bookmark is there hdfc bookmark is there right so bookmarks i added in my use in my, in my default firefox browser right firefox browser and also one extension is there right like this now if i run this any of the application firefox browser see here now what i was doing um yeah now i will be changing uh, the browser with the instead of chrome i'll go with the firefox browser so here firefox browser with icisa url i was navigating let's try to execute now yes friends it is opening firefox browser its new instance firefox browser is opening it was not opening system default firefox is not opening in system default firefox that is the uh, by itself once you install one default firefox instance will be there that firefox is opening there we added some settings but that settings will not be exist uh, what the firefox is going opening through web browser see here some notification is coming that we have to handle that we'll do that see here i didn't see any chrome path extension over here and if you can see the bookmarks can you see any bookmarks what we added in the firefox earlier hdfc access icc no right so which means you have to understand here the while opening any browsers uh, it was opening its new instance browsers chrome or firefox but instead of that i will be create my own instance browser profiles on that my user defined browser profiles i will be doing necessary settings on that so that that my user defined firefox browser profiles i will be loading okay through automation okay let's do that a same thing for chrome also right same thing chrome will be happen like that okay first let's try to work with the firefox then we go with the okay then we go with the uh, chrome from this friends now if you want to create any user defined profile in the firefox then what to do first of all you must close all the firefox related browsers once you are creating any profiling in a firefox okay so just close all the firefox i was done now how to create a firefox profile just click on windows r command prompt is coming here type firefox.exe space hyphen p hyphen p is profile so now we are creating new profile make sure to close all the firefox browsers firefox.exe space hyphen p click on okay now see friends it's opening of course for your case there will be only default will be there that's nothing but default firefox profile 
but some of the batches I created one profile as a main FF profile. That's why it is coming for my case. So let me delete it. This one also. Select this and delete profile. Uh, delete file. Yeah. So in your case, once you're doing like that, you'll be getting only this profile. Let's say default, uh, which is being installed in a system. That Firefox profile will be get open once you select and click on start Firefox. Now you want to create your user defined profile. Just click on create profile. Click on next button. Now do any any profile in here. June uh, FF profile. June FF profile. I was giving that. Just click on finish. Now June FF profile has created. This is my user defined Firefox profile. Now select this June FF profile and click on start Firefox button. Now see my user defined Firefox profile is being opening now. Yes, yes, it has opened. Now see friends. Now in this, I don't have any bookmarks as of now, and I don't have any extension add-ons in my uh, Firefox user defined profile. Now I'll do one thing. First, I'll be adding one of that third party extension Chrome path to my Firefox browser. See, let me add a Chrome path. Chrome path is one of the extension for the Firefox. Doing, to get the right the exports and CSS selectors, Chrome Path is one of that add-on for the Firefox browser. One of the extension add-on Chrome Path I was adding to the Firefox. Just click on that get extension for Firefox. Yes. Now click on Add to Firefox. Click on Add to Firefox. Yes. Click on Add it. Now we can see. I can see the extension of Chrome Path in my Firefox browser. That is my user defined Firefox, my, one of my extension I was added to the Firefox. Now I'll be adding some bookmarks. I will be adding some bookmarks in my uh, uh, in my browser, Firefox user defined browser. Like I'll be going like a uh, uh, Amazon.com, uh, one bookmark I was adding to my user profile. Just click on this star mark. Yes, done. Yes, it went to the bookmarks. One more like a bestbuy.com this i was making as a one more bookmark and next i was giving ebay.com like this some bookmarks i was adding to my bookmark list see one extension i added and uh, some bookmarks here ebay.com, Best Buy, Amazon, some uh, uh, bookmarks I added to my user-defined Firefox profile and one extension pro path I added to my user-defined Firefox profile. Now friends, this is my user-defined Firefox. This I want to load to my automation, not the default one. Now you see, default itself, uh, default uh, Firefox profile is opening in that there will be no settings, right? So you are getting your own profile. In this, you are doing your own settings. That own settings, uh, my user defined profile browser, you are launching through your web driver now. Shall we shall we do that now? So friends, what is the profile name? What I given? I forgot. June FF profile, right? Is it? Friends. Yes. Correct, right? June FF profile, right? Yeah, perfect. Now let's close this Firefox. Now come to your screen. Now come to your screen. Friends, where you're launching the browser with using the launch browser. Go to this inside to this method. Control click on this launch browser. Control click. It goes to that method definition. So is the t corresponding value Firefox is equal to Chrome? No. Is this t corresponding value Firefox is equal to Firefox? Yes. Now come here. Friends, now when it is running like this, uh, it is opening itself uh, default uh, Firefox profile. Instead of that, I want uh, I want my user defined profile too. So here I'll be using one of the class called profile INI. Profile INI is from org.openqa.selenum.firefox. Profile INI. P equals 
new profile ini okay. like this I was giving that. now p dot p dot we have to get the profile first of all we have to get that profile what is a profile name that profile name we have to give as a parameter what is the return type for this get profile method see here friends firefox profile is a return type for this get profile method okay first to you what is the profile name what friends june ff profile is what our profile name so what is the return type for this get profile firefox profile let's keep into one one variable profile Okay, of what type? Yes, Firefox profile. Yes, I get the profile. Now I need to set this as a profile in loading that. So for that, to set this as a profile in through automation, so I must use that uh, Firefox options class. So there is one more class called Firefox options. Do the reference equals new. Firefox options. So with this uh, Firefox options reference, here, here we are giving yes, set profile. Set profile one of the method we use in this set profile method. We are giving that Firefox profile class reference variable. You are giving what? Firefox profile reference variable. What is a Firefox profile reference variable? Profile, right? Yes. Here we are getting and storing into the Firefox profile type. And now we are getting here. Now we are setting here. What we are setting? What we are getting that we are setting here. Getting friends. Now, now this this is returning what type of yes. Options only, fine. It's the same thing. Okay, fine. So option dot set profile. What the profile you created, what we get that we have set it to my this Firefox options reference variable. You must pass parameter for this Firefox driver. Friends, now tell me this is called constructor or not? This together is called as an object. Itself lonely we call as a constructor or not? Tell me, friends. Yes, sir. What is this type of constructor? Come on. Default constructor. Default constructor. Now, Firefox is a default constructor. Along with that, we having some parameter constructors also is there. So here, Firefox driver of is a default constructor. You are having Firefox driver with the desired capabilities. So here, slash is there means it's a duplicated. Okay, fine. Firefox driver with the Firefox options is there. As of now, we require this one, right? It's Firefox driver of, we must give the Firefox options reference variable to here. What is that? Option. Friends, now my Firefox browser is opening water. My user defined profile browser is opening. Getting friends? Now observe here, now observe here. So before doing the profiling concept itself, own new profile Firefox has been open in that no settings were there. Now what we did, we created our own Firefox profile in that we did our customized settings. That customized setting the uh, profile browser we are loading through automation. Now let's try to execute it now. Yes. Generally, Firefox is lazy, guy. Right? Takes some time to load that. By this much time it's taking. Yeah, it started. See friends, it has opened ICICI. 
yeah so see friends here we can see uh in my user defined profile i added pro path is coming right and if you can go to the bookmarks can we see that bookmarks right ebay best buy amazon friends is everyone clear user defined profile creation how to load that through automation is everyone clear so yes, whatever you want to do you can make it now next friends i am getting some notifications here back end be updated get the latest updates from icic bank through website notification this is a browser level notification or not what friends is a browser level notification or not yes yes my my firefox uh, my user defined firefox uh, uh, having some notifications so now it is my browser is in my control my 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 firefox browser is in my control i can do any kind of settings uh, it my user defined firefox browser but earlier it is not in my control itself it own instance of firefox is opening but now my defined my defined firefox profile is opening then it is in my control i can do any kind of settings in my firefox profiling browser getting okay? now how can we how can we uh, handle this notification yes i will tell you that how can we handle this notification okay how can we handle this notification yes i'll come to the code now friends how can means yeah go to the launch browser control click yeah here so option dot option dot add preferences add preference here add preference we have two parameters are there one is string of key comma another is a boolean value first is a string a key we have to provide and second is boolean value so dom dot dom dot web notifications are giving as false dom dot web notifications i was giving what as a false this is the key a string of key and next is the boolean so false is what Let's disable that notifications. Now see here. If I run this, now now we got this uh, 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 notification, right? Now once I once I apply this uh, statement, yes. Now notifications will disable. Now see here. If I run this program, why notification is coming one second uh, one second is any spelling mistake i made dom dot web notifications false right one second let me check let me check in my existing batch one second uh, Oh, dot enable sorry sorry dot enable i missed dom dot web notifications dot enable i missed this statement dom dot web notifications notifications and notifications notifications yes perfect dom dot web notifications dot enable comma false we have to do that that's i mistake let me run now now notification will disable here
my God, taking so much time. That's why industry most of the is to execute automation uh, for Chrome browsers mostly. Okay, so a lot of challenges. Latency will be there in uh, and find elements in Firefox. See friends, web notification has handle or not? What friends? You've seen that? Okay. Is notification coming now? No, right? So like this, uh, once you create your user-defined browser profiles irrespective of Chrome or Firefox, then the browsers are in your country. Accordingly, you set the settings in your user-defined profile. Yes, once you load that, your current settings will be there in your uh, user-defined browsers profiles. Now let's try to do the same thing for. Have a doubt, sir. Yes. Yeah, go ahead, sir. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, so there you return the DOM that uh, from that method name. Is the DOM is a predefined method or else it will be in VI? It's predefined. Yes. See here. So earlier we already discussed uh, uh, to get object directory user dot here. Yeah, this standard keywords, sir. These are the standard keywords. The predefined keywords. Okay. Okay. Predefined space. User dot yeah. means. Sir, is this DOM? Yes. Is this DOM similar to JavaScript DOM? It's just dot. It similar. Sorry. In JavaScript, also we are using DOM. So are they both similar concept or completely different concepts? Same, same, same. DOM dot web notifications dot enable. Say standard keyword. The full name is a document object model, right? Yes, yes, yes. Document object model. Okay. It's okay, sir. Fine. Continue. Yeah, fine. Dom dot web notifications dot enable is standard keyword where to uh, disable that uh, ever any kind of notifications comes in the in the browser uh, to to handle that to kill that notifications we use this standard keyword and giving as a false enabled false we are giving which means not to appear that notifications so when notifications not comes means then we can smoothly uh, go with interacting with any of the web elements in the web applications right like this. Now, same process let's do for uh, Chrome as well. Now I was taking, uh, now I was taking that uh, browser with the Chrome browser. Let's try to uh, run it now. Same for ICIC. Let's try to uh, run this code. As of now, the Chrome is opening itself new, new instance, uh, new, new profile of Chrome is getting opened with ICIC. Also here now we are getting now we are getting some notification also right yes now we're getting some notification now see we don't have any pro path option we don't have any uh, bookmarks also here right we don't have any bookmarks also right now what i will do for chrome how we created the profile for firefox in the way i will be creating the uh, my user defined profile for the chrome browser just if you want to create any for profile choose a different profiles in any browsers please make sure to close that yes i close all of chrome browsers Friends, creating the profiling in a Chrome is entirely different to the Firefox. In Firefox, the way of creating profile is different process. Creating the profiling in a browser, in a Chrome browser is entirely different. How we create profiles means while creating the users in the browsers, while creating the users in a browsers. So what I will do, I will be opening my uh, Chrome browser. Friends, this browser I open is my is a system default Chrome browser. See, it's having Chrome path is there. It having some bookmarks is there. Got it? Now, what I am doing, I'll be creating my user defined profile. And also, you can check here what is this uh, profile? What is this browser profile? What is this Chrome browser profile? Just simply you type here chrom chrome colon slash slash uh, vrsiom version. If you click on that. See what is the default version or not? This Chrome is default Chrome or not? See here. Default Chrome profile path. This profile path is default Chrome, which is being in the system. Okay. Now you want to create your user defined profile. So here to create a user defined profile, yes, friends, you can see here, your username is coming next year. R is coming, user. Just click on that. Here, so many profiles I created for earlier batches. Okay, in your case, only one user will be there, but current user. Now I added some profiles as well, so many are there. 
Now here I'll be creating the new profile and creating the user. How I'm doing that? Click on add. There is add button, right? Click on add. Here give some name here, okay? June Chrome profile. June Chrome profile name I was giving like. And I will be uh, taking uh, icon like uh, uh, with the specs. Okay, I'm taking this specs. This one profile I'm creating. The profile image, this is what I'm selecting. And add it. See friends, I got my user defined profile, which is June Chrome profile with the specs. Now, if you want to check the version of this simple view, Chrome colon slash slash, uh, we can do as a version. See friends, what is this profile name? Profile name. But earlier open that what the profile it was? Default Chrome profile. Friends, observing the profile what recently I created, that's a 10th profile. Because why? Only some profiles I create. For every profile, it gives us profile 1, profile 2, profile 3 like this. As of now, I created till uh, last profile 9. Now what the profile I created, a uh, user defined profile as a June Chrome profile, that profile name is profile 10 is given up. This is the my user defined profile path. Got it, friends? Now, now we are done with creating the profile. Now you do whatever settings you want to do in your user defined profile. You want to add extension. You want to add a book bookmarks. Yes, you can do whatever you want. Yes, in your user defined profile browser, you add the extension. What is that? Chrome path for Chrome browser. Now we are doing with Chrome, right? Chrome path for Chrome. We are adding the extension. Just click on that. Pro path Google Chrome. And click on add to Chrome. Now click on add to Chrome. Click on add extension. Yes, Chrome path gone. Fine. Now see, Chrome path got and it's here. Chrome path came right. Like this. Now you want to add some bookmarks to the Chrome browser. As of now, there are no bookmarks. I think it's here. So as of now, there are no bookmarks added. Now I'll be adding here. So for this, I was adding. No. Red bus dot in. Red bus starting. This I was adding as a bookmark. You just click on star mark done next irc tc so next i was giving irc tc dot com i was making this as a book okay and next i am making one more tsrtc.com let's make this as a bookmark done so uh, now if you see a bookmarks list history we can see here red boss is there irctc is there tsrtc is there, right like this you have some uh, add bookmarks added some extensions we added now now this user defined profile i want uh, to load in my script so first uh, first uh, okay you added something you created the profile you added the settings now before loading this before loading this uh, user defined profile through web driver script uh, now we have to do one more thing let's check the profile what is are you in you, your user defined profile let's check chrome colon slash slash version Yes, you are still in your profile, your June Chrome profile. Your profile name is, this is the profile 10. Now what we have to do, you have to navigate to your created profile path. You have to navigate to your, your user defined profile path. Just copy your profile path. Yeah. You go to your location of your profile. This is your profile location, profile 10. Friends, observe, do you, did you find any did you find any default folder in this any default folder is there do you find any default folder no 
No. So let's come back one step. Here, do you have a default folder? Yes, this is the default Chrome profile default folder. So 10, if you now you are creating your user defined profile, which is profile 10. In this profile 10, this is user defined profile. It doesn't contains any default folder. First, what you'll do, first you create one default folder in it. Right click, new folder, and you default folder. Perfect. Now you have created default folder. Now you select all the files, control A, exclude the default folder, exclude the default folder. Now copy everything, right click, copy. Now you go inside the default folder. Now here you paste it. Now here you paste it. That's why I'm pasting. You will be getting some error. Why? Because you already opened some your user defined Chrome profile and you already opened the system default profile. Both you have opened. That's why in when it comes to the last, when copying, you'll be getting some error. This Chrome profile is being open and used by some other process like this we are getting some error to copy the files let's wait so while copying the files into default folder you must show you must close all the chrome browsers when copying okay see lastly we'll get the error see what is saying that the action cannot be completed because the file is open in google chrome so make sure you close all the chrome browsers now close it and close it now you try again click on that now all the files are copied over here see here? in the default folder under my profile 10. understood friends till here the process what i was doing first you create a profile in a chrome then what to do you do the SLA settings whatever the settings you want then what to do then uh, create one default folder in your user defined profile go into that navigate to your location of your user defined profile create one default folder then select all the files exclude the default folder copy everything go inside default folder and paste it over here got it that's the process now you try to uh, call that user defined profile uh, in uh, in your in your script now go to your uh, script yeah yeah let's go to the launch browser you have this chrome browser this control click on this yes Chrome browser, key corresponding value, Chrome is equal to Chrome. Yes, now what to do? I need to uh, land my Chrome browser with my user defined profile. What I will do here? Friends, here in the Firefox case, we use two classes. One is profile INI to get the profile. To set, we use the Firefox option class. But in case of Chrome, we'll, we'll use only one class that's a uh, Chrome options class. Chrome, sorry, spelling mistake. Chrome options, option equals new Chrome options. So with this reference option dot, so here we go with a add arguments. Add arguments is a method is there. Add arguments is a string argument, string of arguments, which means you must in a double quotes. Okay, here in this, we have to give that path of your profile, what you have created. What is the profile you created? This one, right? June, June Chrome profile you created, right? This is what, it's the optical symbol. Let's click on this. See if you check here, Chrome colon slash slash version. See, this is the your profile path. This profile path, we have to give it in your script. This profile path, you have to give it in your script. Come to your script. Here we have to give that. And before we have to use some variable friends, I forgot one second. What is that? Yeah, user hyphen data hyphen dir. This is the variable we must yes. User hyphen data hyphen dir equals we give that that profile part. You user defined profile part. You have to give that now. This op Chrome options reference, we have to pass argument for the Chrome driver constructor. So this is a default construct, right? Therefore, Chrome driver class, there is an argument constructor 
with the chrome options here chrome driver with chrome options parameter so we give that option now, now what happens yes now it now chrome is opening your user defined chrome with your custom settings okay let's try to let's try to execute it now let's try to execute it now See friends, now your user defined profile, June Chrome profile has opened, right? See friends, see a pro path is there and also bookmarks are there what you have added. PSRTC, uh, IRCTC, bookredburst.com like this is there. But notification is not handling. See here, this notification is not handling. Yes, I want to, I want to handle these notifications. I want to handle this notifications so how can we do that let's see that so let's go to the launch browser yes here itself again option dot add argument here we go so here so uh here we do web notifications okay uh, okay so friends yeah the chrome options arguments you want suppose what arguments you want to apply if you don't know don't worry just you can you can browse it here you can browse it here once again you can browse it here uh, in 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 searching with the chrome option arguments you can just simple search chrome option arguments so uh, there you can find where i can find this top arguments see friends always you prefer to go with the stack overflow stack overflow is the best different sites for uh, for troubleshootings or for solutions whatever uh, information will be valid in the stack workflow.com just go in this you come down if you come down here yeah, these are the these are things we can okay these are the things so one second these are the arguments if you want to see more arguments here we can see here so we can see here this link you click on this is the one one is used uh, for reference to get more arguments once see these are number of arguments on the start max my signal certification errors disable pop-up blockings like this having like just click on this so here we can see number of arguments for the chrome options class will be available here see these are all the arguments for the chrome options so many are there now what we have to use now is here, okay, uh, uh, alt F, uh, not F, control F, control F, I'm giving hyphen hyphen, disable hyphen notifications here, hyphen hyphen disable hyphen notifications, disables the web notifications under push APIs. So let me copy this, okay, this is the argument I must do over there, copy this. Here I was giving that hyphen, hyphen disable hyphen notifications. Now, now notifications will be disabled. Now, see if I run this code. Now let, let let's try to run this code now. Now notifications will not come now. See, is notification is coming now? All right. Notification is not coming. Okay. Friends, any doubt? Can you I have a doubt? Yeah, go ahead, sir. Can I have a doubt? Yeah, go ahead. Go sir, ahead. In Majilla, uh, you were working, you were uh, previously you were did for the Firefox, right? In Firefox, the DOM dot uh, notifications that uh, enabled comma fox like that you written, right? Same yes. syntax only here we can execute. Sir, that syntax is different. This syntax is different. These are Chrome option arguments. Okay. Those are Firefox arguments. Okay. Each and, okay. Each and every browser, which is a different argument, is there? Yes, here. Every every browser having its own engine, right? Okay. See, Chrome is different client. That's a, that's a Chrome is different client. Firefox is different client. Now tell me, IBM, okay. and Microsoft, will we have the same? No, right? They have their own rules and regulations. They are no. having more infrastructure. No. 
Microsoft are having their own infrastructure, right? Yeah. Each browser is different, different. They have their own yes. mechanism to uh, developing and uh, add-ons, all those things, right? So, the, the things will be the Chrome and Firefox. Arguments are different. Okay, okay sir. Okay, sir. Yeah. Okay. So, like, uh, we have one question. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Anyway, uh, this whatever you explain, I'm not talking about the notification, uh, the the bookmarks, or you can take the example of uh, the Chrome icon, mm -hmm. something or the you should. So, is mm -hmm. it like part of the requirement? Something you will we are going to get. Uh, I mean, is it can be a uh, in your part of requirement or uh, uh, and also we need to if we, when we will real time we will work on it we need to create our own profile or something like that or yes we have to create our own profiles why means see i say i show you practically when i was running when I was running through web driver step when i was running through web driver what uh, profile is opening new instance profile is opening right we don't have any yeah. settings for right Correct. see why yeah I'm sure you this here when I was running, when I was executing, if Chromepath is not there at particular point, suppose see some 10 pages now, suppose if the one test case flow is there for 20 page navigation is there. After completion of 20 page navigation, your test case will be stopped, right? Actually in the middle, in the when it comes to the fifth page, so in, in middle of the 10th page, your script got failed. How many flows uh, you completed till now? 10 pages flow you completed. Yeah. You particular 10th page, but in the 10th page, you want to inspect where exactly the issue is that. If you have crow path in your in your instance uh, profile, you can easily inspect that point, right? Okay, huh? yeah. Mm -hmm. Like that, see, like now notifications are coming. Through automation, when you are not getting your own profiles, it, some profiles are coming, some notifications are coming. Who will handle it? As an automation engineer, you have to handle that. Like any browser kind of any settings you want to, Handle means yes through profiling concept only. We are handling any kind of things, browser level setting. Mm -hmm. Any browser kind of settings you want to do means yes create a profile, then use that arguments to whatever you are getting. You go on, you take that option, pick that, and you can handle the situation. The browser level settings, all those things. Okay, okay. See so add-ons, bookmarks, and notifications. SSL certifications, whatever it was, maximizing the window, right? Whatever it was, you can handle through this profiling concept. Proxy settings, everything, right? Everything we can handle through this profiling concept. Got it, friends? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah welcome. So, any more notes, friends? Hi. Yeah, go ahead, sir. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead actually in my application so mm -hmm. notification i how to handle the notification actually in real time just, just now i showed you right ah yes, for example that icsa notifications are there right so mm -hmm. yes, uh, that uh, that two options are there like uh, enable something yes or no mm -hmm. so the the buttons right two buttons are there in notification mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. how to handle that uh, click I means how to handle that uh, buttons so you want to click you want to inspect that notifications yeah so we can't uh, one second sir let me show you you know we didn't uh, started any uh, web elements okay open firefox in Chrome, it is not uh, manually getting the notifications. Let me uh, try to show you. That's an example. I see a say bank. We having some alerts are there. Different types of alerts will be coming. So different different alerts. Uh, how to handle that? We'll discuss on that. See, this yeah, is what see. this is what yeah. kind of alert see. you can handle that. You can yeah. I'm so talking you, about that latter and yellow buttons are there, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, how to handle that uh, buttons. So let's try to inspect that. I'm having inspector. One second. Same getting right? Okay. Getting problem? Right? 
Yes, yes. We can inspect. Okay. Yeah. Got it, sir. So we didn't uh, talk about any in, uh, locator. The entire next week we'll be talking about uh, working with the locators, writing the customized XPath with syntaxes, XPath functions, writing a CSS selectors using syntaxes functions. Entire week we'll be talking five days next week about the locators only. Okay. Okay. And one two two days we'll be talking about the uh, different kinds of alerts, how to uh, handle that. Everything we'll discuss on the ones, okay? Alerts, which yeah. is switching into frames. Hello? Yeah, any doubt, sir? No? Yeah, no, no. I have a question. Sometimes what happens is hello. Yeah, your voice is breaking, sir. Can you please uh, okay. sometimes you know like we, uh, we Chromium get automatically ins installed to our PC. So that is through Selenium itself. Sorry, sorry. Sometimes like uh, whenever we are browsing on internet because of some virus or something, Chromium, hmm. so it's similar to Chrome. So Chromium get automatically installed on our system. So is it because of Selenium itself, like uh, it gets automatically installed or? No, I didn't get your question, sir. Can you please come again, Hello? sir? Can you please come again? Okay. Sometimes it happens to me whenever you know, uh, like I am operating some website, etc. Uh, instead of Chrome, there is any another uh, extension of Chrome that is Chromium, Chromium, which automatically gets installed on our PC. Uh huh. So is it because so, of virus or uh, some uh, or uh, Selenium browser? Uh, might you have added any extension for the Chrome? Have you added any oh, extension? No. no. The Chrome is the only the uh, actual version. Chrome, Chrome only. Now Chromia, yeah, you are saying something. Okay. I think it might be some different yeah, Chrome, version. Chrome, Chrome. Is it coming from a black alert? Chrome is coming from like a black alert. Ah. Yeah, right. <laughs> I think it might be like a Apple, pineapple, like this watches. Same kind of Chrome. Something is coming. I think you better uninstall that and make it a uh, okay. Chrome actual uh, version of yeah. Chrome. Okay. Yeah, it automatically goes installed. Okay. Yeah, uninstall it, install once again, okay? Like uh, virtual Apple and China Apple like this, right? <laughs> like this might be some Chromia or something like this. Yeah. Better uninstall that, okay? So friends, let me let me keep this code in your uh, GitHub server. Yeah, friends, next class is on Monday. Next whole week we'll be talking about uh, uh, locators only, okay? Uh, let's share the GitHub ID. Sorry. Hello, sir. Hello. Yeah. yeah. It, uh, yeah go ahead, sir. URL here. Yeah, I'll be sharing that. One second. I am keeping. Uh, friends, what is your repository? I forgot. Uh, what is your repository? Uh, sample report. Sample report. Oh, okay. Sample report. Yes, yes, yes. Correct. Yeah, let me paste. I am sharing that link to your friends, everyone. Uh, just uh, take that code from pull the code from GitHub and uh, so uh, browser profiles. Go oh, files. Okay. Browser profiles. Let me come into master and push origin. And let's see here. Yeah. Let's click on this. Yeah, repositories. So, yeah, sample 30 seconds. So let's click on this. So, friends, I said I promise I'll be testing you a uh, GitHub server in Git Bash as well, right? I'll be, I'll be, uh, I'll be soon, I'll be announcing you that time uh, when it is going to be uh, the session. Okay, so uh, I am pinging that. Uh, uh, I am getting one question. Hello, Ravi. Is it possible to upload video today only? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. I think yesterday video also I need to upload, right? I forgot yesterday. Yeah. Sure. Uh, yeah. Yes, sir. When is it did. okay? I mean, the same day if you'll upload for me, I mean, it's a, it's a afternoon time, so it'll be, I'll get some more yes. time to, yeah. Yeah, so. yeah, sure, definitely, definitely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. One yeah. more time, Okay, friends. Uh, done for today.
we'll meet on monday and friends monday link is going to be changed you will be getting the mail please check once uh, before you join okay yeah thank you friends thank you very much have a nice okay. day bye bye